Hey guys, what's up? Greg here. Um, I said about a month ago that um, there will be more Walking Dead videos and I have one, like a topic, so I do, I have a topic, like a little prediction for the, um, where the comic book and down the road where the TV show could head and I'll get to that in just a second recently this was released The Walking Dead issue number 175 New World Order part 1 of 6 um, in this issue we met the largest group we've ever seen in The Walking Dead history um, with over 50,000 people and before I say more about this group just know that there is so I'm going to be talking about like the ending of the issue and stuff so anyway at the end of the issue we come up to a billboard or something like that yeah. and it has pictures of people that have been lost throughout the years and Michonne sees a picture of herself on it with the name Elodie written on the uh, photo Elodie of course being her daughter uh, she mentioned her daughters a couple times in the comic before when she came back back in like issue 139 and all the way back at the prison she talked to Lori about it but most people when they think of Michonne's daughters they think of um, the Walking Dead Michonne miniseries that Telltale did back in 2016 and yeah I recently played through that again because I was playing through the Walking Dead game collection and what I have to say is it ties into the Telltale games, but it also ties into everything else. And what it is is this. I think this was also back in 2016. Brian K. Vaughan released a comic book of The Walking Dead title, The Walking Dead, The Alien. And in this comic book we saw... And this is a spoiler alert now for this comic... <laughs> We saw Jeffrey Grimes, Rick Grimes' brother, and he dies, and there was this woman that was with him, and before he died, he asked her to find Rick, so she did, he did, so she doesn't even know his last name, so finding him isn't going to be an easy task. And I'm thinking, and I know other YouTubers have done this, at least one other Primatrix 1986, I think. He did a video on it, and I want to do one as well. I, I, I think there's a good chance she's there. Now you may say, that's a bit too coincidental. Is it really like, come on, like this? The Walking Dead has gotten away with having these really big, like, coincidences. Like, Morales is a good one. Um, Elodie, like, Elodie was in Georgia with Michonne. How the fuck did they both end up in Ohio? The Commonwealth's just such a big group. I think it has to do with Wellington. If you played the Walking Dead game, specifically Season 2, in it, Krista and Clementine are looking for Wellington. And later on, Clementine and Kenny are. Now, here's the thing. In the world of the Walking Dead, we don't have, they don't have Facebook, they don't have social media, because, you know, the internet is gone. You know, word of mouth... It doesn't get out that much. But quite a few people knew about Wellington. And uh, it's like how? 
So I'm thinking not only could um, Claudia, being the person that was with Jeffrey Grimes from the Alien, could be at Wellington. I think Krista could be at Wellington as well if she's not already dead. Now, people have theorised that Krista might have died when she got surrounded by those uh, scavengers back in season two, and it is certainly possible that could have happened. But another thing that could have happened is that she she maybe after the events of you know getting separated from Clementine, she she wanted to find Clementine like how Clementine wanted to find her. And maybe Krista thought, well, Clementine knows we were heading towards Wellington. She knows that's up north. Maybe I'll head up north as well. Maybe she did get north, but she didn't find Wellington. Maybe she found the Commonwealth, which is this group right here on that cover. And... It's very possible. With 50,000 people, there has to be more than one person we recognise. I mean, I could be completely wrong, and that's fine. But, you got to think, like, what if Krista did find the Commonwealth instead of Wellington? Now, I think the Commonwealth, and just what Robert Kirkman wants to do with the comic... The comic storyline is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It started with Jesus leading to the hilltop, which led to Negan, which led to the kingdom, which led to all a war, which led to a new beginning. And then the Whisper and the Whisper War came over, and then Eugene found the radio, which led to Stephanie, which led to Ohio, and we met the princess along the way. And, um... So... I should really hurry up with this video because it's 7 minutes 17 seconds long so I'll try to make it just about 10 don't worry I'm not going to go for that ad revenue thing because I don't get paid for these videos and that's okay um, if you're not enjoying this video I'm sorry um, I hope to eventually get better videos where I use like images and stuff like that and maybe just have my voice over like a little thing. Uh, if you want good quality Walking Dead videos, go to Make Pat Presents. Hands down best Walking Dead YouTuber. Hands down best YouTuber. <laughs> you might not agree with me. Make Pat Presents my favorite YouTuber. I always watch his content. So if you're watching uh, Ronnie Hayes, shout out. I've been on a couple of your streams. Specifically during... Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, I asked about the webisodes. Anyway, um, so I think the Commonwealth is kind of like a bridging point. It can bridge together all the different Walking Dead franchises, because in a few years' time, there's going to be like more franchises. We're probably, in a few years' time, there'll probably be like another one-off comic book exploring a couple other new survivors which could lead to them finding a group which could lead to that group finding our group which leads to the world getting even bigger because i think with what with what Robert kirkman is doing with the franchise it is world building we're probably not going to have something exactly like the marvel universe where it's all connected like like it will be connected like it already is connected seeing how we've had game uh, comic characters appear in the game and now we're getting Morgan from The Walking Dead in Fear of the Walking Dead and what I gotta say about this is I think even Commonwealth in the TV show now Ronnie Hayes did a great video about this and it gave me the idea so full credit goes to him from Make Pat Presents but the Commonwealth could get the fear of the Walking Dead characters, and then we could have like a further crossover. Now, that's completely possible. We could have like the fear characters not become main characters on the Walking Dead because it's going to be difficult because they're the main characters of their own show. But maybe they could just be like we see them every, like we see them 
two episodes in a 16 episode season so we don't see much of them and it can be a good way for the comic and the TV show universes to connect themselves now more than ever it's possible and more believable that we could come into contact with more characters because the world is getting so much bigger we're covering more ground eventually we want to start seeing some familiar faces whether it be Clementine Claudia Krista Lily from the from Woodbury and Lily from the game because if you read the novels you know Lily and Woodbury are still around so yeah so my theory, my theory is we might see more characters we recognize now the character won't recognize because none of the characters know who Krista is but even though that's true we could still see more connections happen so that's all I gotta say I'm sorry this video bored made you bored um, but however I hope you did enjoy leave a like um, or even leave a dislike it doesn't matter whatever you thought of the video please leave a comment and tell me what you think it's hard looking right in the, the camera you keep looking at the screen but yeah maybe even share the video with your friends um subscribe i could do with some subscribers i have 15 at the moment so maybe if i look back on this video in a few years time maybe i'll have a bunch more subscribers i'm like well once i have 15 subscribers anyway um that's still good because like there's still 15 people that took you know their time to actually become a subscriber and that means a lot so to my subscribers out there, if any of you are still watching this channel because I barely fucking upload. Thanks. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to one person that is probably watching this video. And his name is Jeffer. So if you're watching, hello. Um, please like uh, try to get this video a bit more popular so maybe more people can theorize on the Walking Dead comic book and TV show and see how connected the worlds can get so that's all I want to say I have my 2018 Walking Dead calendar there picture of Rick my favorite character in the entire franchise and yeah before I go I want to show one last thing here's some Walking Dead figures you got Clementine here can't have Clementine without Lee. Rest in peace, Lee. You got T Dog. Everyone loves T Dog. You got best character ever, Rick Grimes. Arm to the teat with his signature weapon, his hatchet or hatchet. Yeah, my favourite character. Um, for anyone that doesn't read the comic, first of all, while well, you're watching this video, it's mostly to do with the comic, but thanks anyway. But yeah, Rick. There's a big difference from him in the TV show. I gotta stop. Walking figures are awesome. Um, anyway, that's it. And thanks for watching this video. Peace.